Hey everyone, it's Presley at ArcDoteGames.com here, and today we thought it would be time for another science experiment. So we went out to look for different science kits because we thought we did all of the six science kits. We've done quite a few, so we thought we finished all of them, so we went to look for a different kind that sounded interesting to us. And we found these mini six science kits, which we had no idea existed, so I assume they're fairly new. So this is six science bubble blast. I'm I'm really excited. Let's dig in. So the kit came with these gloves, this bubble juice, these pipettes, the instructions like always, and the instructions have the instructions have the instructions have little QR codes where you can watch videos of the headless guy or Steve Spangler doing the science experiments and it also has really detailed instructions without watching the videos which teach you what to do and it is really interesting because it teaches you how it works and why it works and how to do it so it that is one of the reasons why I love these six science kits, and I'm excited to finish all of the mini kits. So we had to supply ourselves with this little container to hold the bubble juice in. So you're going to need a little container to hold the bubble juice in. It can be pretty much anything. It can be a Ziploc container. It can be anything. So the first step is to pour the bubble fluid into your container, and it should be about a quarter of an inch. Step two is to cut the top of the fat end off of a pipette. We have quite a collection of pipettes due to all the Steve Spangler kits we've done, but we're going to use the ones that came with this kit. So now let's give it a shot on a bare hand and see what happens. So how you blow these bubbles is you stick it into the bubble, is you stick your pipette into the bubble fluid, fat side into the bubble fluid, and then you blow through this little end. And now comes the hard part, getting it off of the stem. And for that, we're going to use inertia. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it up and then I'm gonna push it down and then yank it up. So the bubble has downwards inertia, so it's gonna float downwards towards my hand, yet the stick still has upwards inertia, so it's gonna travel upwards like I want it to. So here we go. Up, down, up. And it pops when it touches my bare hand. So let's try it with the gloves, which supposedly stop the bubble from popping and it makes it land on the glove and it doesn't pop and you can kind of juggle it or and bounce it around. So let's try that using the same tactic we used before. Whoa, 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 it landed and it's safe and it's not popping. That, that's really cool. I pulled up with my fingers a little bit, so that's why it popped. It doesn't pop naturally on the glove, which is really cool. So I'm gonna put my other glove on and I'm gonna be kind of bounce around the bubbles a little bit because I'm pretty sure if I just keep it on one hand, the bubble's gonna fly everywhere on the table, on the floor, land on my office chair, it's gonna land everywhere and it's going to break and I can't have as much fun with it. So now that I have both of my gloves on, I am now going to blow another bubble. Bouncing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is fun. This is really fun. This is really cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How the bubble is not popping on the gloves and I can bounce it around. I can have it fly around. Oop, and it's stuck to the to the box. I wonder if I can like scoop it from the box. Nope. Okay, I was wondering that because it got stuck to the table a couple times and it got stuck to the box. So I was wondering if I could pick it up or something. So what Steve Spangler said in the video is that you could kind of gently squeeze the bubble. Um, this is most likely not going to work for me because I don't do dental. Oh yeah, you can. You can like gently, really, really softly squeeze this bubble. Ooh. That's cool. So these gloves are woo. So this, so the gloves um work so well with not popping the bubble. You can actually squeeze it a little bit without it popping. Okay. 
So like a good scientist, we have a hypothesis on why the bubble doesn't pop when it's on the glove, but it pops when it's on our skin. And when I'm playing with bubbles outside, why I popped on the sidewalk and stuff. So we, our hypothesis is that it really adheres. It has the cohesion on the bubble, and that's what keeping that's what keeping the bubble together. But when it get lands on the skin, it adheres to the skin, and that kind of breaks the cohesion, and the bubble pops. But when it lands on the glove, it doesn't adhere as much, so the cohesion of the bubble is stronger than the adhering to the glove. So it just bounces off of the glove, and it doesn't pop when it's on the glove. But we watched the video, and the explanation was actually um, because your skin has lots of oils and dirt and grime, so. So when it lands on my skin, it pops because that thin layer of oil and dirt and grime that you can't even see, that's invisible to you, but that layer is still thick enough to pop a bubble. That's how fragile it is. But when you're wearing the gloves, it doesn't have all that dirt and grime, so it's so it's fine and it bounces around in the gloves. I still think it's a good hypothesis, even though it wasn't correct. And what I just did there was a big, big part of my homeschooling is where I take a problem that I don't know and I try to use little things that I do know to solve that problem so like solving the bubble problem I know about cohesion and adhesion so I try to use that to solve the bubble problem so I'm loving this kit so far it's really really fun it's really really fun it's really really interesting I am definitely going to be showing my little brother all of this cool all of this cool stuff that you can do with bubbles if he wears these gloves and it's so fun just to bounce around the bubble and um i'd say this works a lot that the, what i'm doing right now is working a lot better than the juggle bubble was on mommy and gracie's sh show and what i was watching on mommy and gracie's show they maybe juggled it a little bit a, a few times and then it just didn't work and I think that was either because their juggle bubble gloves got really, really dirty or they weren't or they weren't doing it super well. I think it was because their juggle bubble gloves were pretty dirty. But I don't know. Um, I've been playing with this for a while and they're not pretty dirty. <laughs> they're not very dirty. So I wonder why the juggle bubble do doesn't work as well as these bubble blast gloves do. Since we live in Colorado and it's winter, we have a lot of gloves that look quite a lot like these gloves. So we're going to test it out on these gloves and see if it works like it does on these. My hypothesis is that it's not gonna work because these gloves are most definitely not new. Oh, <laughs> I to touch my skin there for a second. I should probably use this hand because that's the one with the full glove. And it does work. So my hypothesis was wrong. I thought is because these are not new gloves and they have a lot of grime and muck on them that they would pop the bubble. But I guess the oil on my skin plays a big part in this whole grime and muck thing. So um, that's a good thing to find out um, on my own play. So it's not specifically the dirt that's causing the problem. It's the oil on your skin. So if we didn't have oil on our skin, we would probably like all die. I don't know much about the oil on our skin, but um, if we didn't have the oil on our skin, then the bubble could, pr and we just cleaned our skin, like we just took a bath, then the bubble would probably be able to rest and I could bounce it on my normal skin. So, because these dirty gloves, which um, we've used quite a lot, whoop, and you can even, if you look at the gloves, there's hair all over it, there's lots of fluffy things sticking up, but it still does not pop. You can work as it you can work with it as well as you can with the specific gloves for the experiments. So this is the grand finale. It looks really cool and it's pretty simple to do. As always, the kit will give you instructions. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.